Welcome back to the ranch. Today we're going to try the gel test of the new Fiocchi Covert X in 380. We've tested it in 38 Special and it did really well. But this is what the projectile looks like. 95 grain projectile, it's got great velocity on it, even out of a two and three quarter inch barrel like the Sig P238. All right, getting back about seven feet. 926. 978. 936. 955. And 936. Let's check the stats on that we had a five shot average of 946 feet per second that is indeed gel test worthy and we'll be using the two and three quarter inch barrel of the sig again today for the gel test ice water bath there really cold gel and I think I'm going to start off with a four-layer denim test. I'll very often start off with two layers for 380. But with this kind of velocity muzzle, with the kind of muzzle energy that this Fiocchi produced in the chronograph test, I do not feel it will be necessary However, I am going to put up a water jug backer just in case things go wrong. And I've got 14 inches of gel here today in this water jug backer. Still going to set it up lengthwise to make sure I capture that bullet if it passes through. Load up the SIG and get going. About four feet away. Nice, nicely centered. And oh my, <laughs> it, it is showing some expansion. Not much though. It's definitely penetrated the whole 14 inch gel column and not the water jug backer. All four layers of denim, very nice. And let's check that out. There is, forgive the glare, there is a decent expansion signature about, eh, starting about an inch and a half into the gel block. So that looks positive right there. Kind of still, still ripping, showing some chunks of denim deposited six inches, seven inches in. And then all the way down here at the 14 inch end. There it is. Well, let's, uh, let's dig that out. See what it looks like when we put the caliper on it. Zero that. Very close to the end of the gel. Probably would have exited. Okay, so here's the issue. As we so often see with 380, we have partial expansion resulting in very adequate penetration and uh, probably a pretty fearsome wound track, honestly. As I've said in the past with rounds like this, with, with rounds that come out of the block looking like this, if there was a way to guarantee that you would get that exact expansion every time, this would probably be an ideal round. Still, not bad for a standard pressure 380. That is nice and zeroed. And bring this out to the 
widest point of the expansion as far as I'm concerned. About those two pedals right there. What are we in millimeters? Okay, we want inches. Because we are in freedom country right now, and in freedom country we use freedom freedom units. So it's 0.467 diameter. Not very exciting. But you've seen the the wound track. And you know that this, yeah, 0.468, interesting. Something like that. Less than 50% expansion, and only about 50% of it even expanded. But for standard pressure 380, that is close to as good as it gets. Now, we will line up and try a bear gel test next. Ah, oh, I forgot to snick the safety on. Ah, get so careless out here. Not a smart man. You know what? Let's just flip this around so it's easy. Because I want this to stick. And then, oh, again, we'll back it up with the water jug. That looks pretty nice. I think get about four feet back again. And a little bit lower. Perfectly exactly where I wanted it. Magnificent, magnificent expansion instantly. No need to worry about the water jug. And yeah, that's that's got decent penetration. Not 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 all the way to where you'd want it, ideally. But again, about nine and nine and a half, nine and three quarter inches is not terrible for standard pressure 380, especially out of a short little two and three quarter inch pocket pistol. Let's see if I can get at it and do minimum minimum damage to the gel. Uh, that's going to be a difficult one to reuse for a test later on, but. Put it back in the ice anyway. Wow. Very even expansion. Zero out that caliper. Six, three, eight, five. So just about 64 caliber on that 95 grain hollow point. Man. Well, that, that I would have to say is a winner for 380, for standard pressure. As far as 380 standard pressure goes, you, you really cannot do better than that. Not even the gold dots outperform this. It, you could maybe make a case for the 102 grain Remington golden saber because it gets even a little bit better penetration but i i think i think uh philosophically this uh the idea of a heavier bullet versus you know kind of the old 90 grain standard for 380 is kind of proving itself to be the way to go in my opinion and then just for the fun of it, I did uh, bring along the 125 grain 38 special in this same brand, Fioki Covert X. Here's the four layer denim test. And here is the bear gel test. And again, these penetrated much deeper, both of them uh, defeating the 12 inch mark handily. But that right there is the difference between 38 snub nose and 380 ACB. That's our ballistic gel test of the new Fioki Covert X 95 grain 380 auto from the two and three quarter inch barrel of the Sig P3.
Thanks, folks. This is Dave for DDR. God bless America this week.